You are about to learn one of the biggest secrets in the history of the world. It's a secret that has huge effects for everyone who lives on this planet. Your gold. It's 1,750,000 metric tons. Where is it? First of all, it's in a special trust account that was set up by Ferdinand Marcos. He was doing this as a young lawyer for Jose Rizal, who had been in the Vatican for many years. Jose Rizal was the son of Prince Tolano, who was a twin of Queen Victoria. And uh, the royals have kept the world's gold for themselves, and then it was stolen from them by the banks. And um, what happened is Prince uh, Jose Rizal didn't like what he saw at the Vatican, and so he came back to the Philippines with the Vatican's gold. The, Vatican sent the gold to the Philippines for safekeeping. And what Jose Rizal did was he locked that gold up in a trust account for 50 years. And the thing about a trust account for 50 years is if you say you own something and you haven't managed to get control of it, after 50 years, you've lost it under something called the statute of limitations. So that gold went into hiding for 50 years, and those 50 years ended in 2005. But we didn't manage to get our gold out. And the reason why is because the banks refused. The man who's the authorized signature authority, and you'll see a little clip of him, that's Wolfgang Strzok, he kept writing to the banks and saying, I have the right to withdraw the money. I have the right to find out how much money it is now because it's been accruing interest and uh, the banks wouldn't give him the time of day. And when I started flailing around, which is what I actually did for a number of years after I was fired by the World Bank, um, he found me. He said, the two of us can get the job done and that's exactly what we're doing. And who are we teaming up with? We're teaming up with all the countries of the world, the BRICS countries. And one of the people that's helping us is Putin. I've been on Russia television today three times. Yeah? So you're starting to get the picture, right? And, um, you know, Germany just announced that it was going to the BRICS. You know the day that they announced that? That was the day that I wrote a press release for a 24-hour embargo. And during that 24-hour period, that is when Germany said, that they were going to join the BRICS. So what, what you actually have is you have all of the countries of the world that are all on the same page. That gold belongs to humanity and it's not going anywhere but to humanity. That's where we are. <laughs> it's not a bad place to be, actually. Yeah. Um, I'm just reading, by the way, when I issued this um, press release in embargo, that was the day that Germany announced that they were going to be going to the BRICS. I had also copied the ambassador of Germany to the United States. And I actually had um, an interview with um, a magazine that has 1.5 million uh, business readers per month. And at the end of the interview, I said, is there something I left out? This was back in September. And they said, yes. Um, could you speak to the fact that a military helicopter buzzed the Frankfurt consulate, broke all the Chinaware in, in the US consulate? OK, now this, this is um, just one of the certificates. This is 
how we're going to put the banking cartel in bankruptcy. I don't think you can see the year 1934. Maybe you can. It's, it, it's the next to the last line, this 17th day of August, 1934. So that's been accruing interest. That's ours. That's on our behalf. 